SEC Commissioner Hester Pierce, aka Crypto Mom, has once again defended the crypto space by calling out the SEC for stifling the industry's growth. In a speech at the Securities Enforcement Forum in California on May 9, SEC Commissioner Hester Pierce calls out the SEC for stifling the growth of this space. While she is happy with the lack of over-enforcement, there isn't enough regulation clarity for her. A year ago she gave a similar speech expressing her opinion that the SEC shouldn't try and over-regulate and over-enforce the space because that would stifle development. By doing nothing, in her opinion, the SEC has in fact been stifling the development of the industry. I also expressed my concern that the SEC would lead with its enforcement powers, thus allowing anxiety about the risks of new technology to overshadow the opportunities it presents. I worried that hasty regulation would smother the industry in its infancy. My concerns did not become reality. The enforcement actions we have taken to date in the crypto space have, for the most part, exhibited appropriate restraint. On the regulatory side, hasty is not the word I would use to describe the SEC space. It is not the SEC's overzealous action that has stifled the crypto industry, but its unwillingness to take meaningful action at all. Esther Biosec points out that it isn't the SEC's place to get involved in the creative process but it is up to them to help clarify regulations so that the public can comply with their laws and regulations and she feels that the SEC hasn't fulfilled this duty. The problem is that the securities laws do not cease to operate as a new industry develops. Consequently, individuals and companies in the industry must comply with our securities laws or risk becoming the subject of an enforcement action. It is, therefore, our duty as a regulator to provide the public with clear guidance as to how people can comply with our law. We have not yet fulfilled this duty. Esther Piasage did go on to say that she is happy with some of the enforcement over the past year and stepping in on situations where it was clear that tokens were sold as unregistered securities. She also commended and approved the use of no-action letters in specific situations. The main issues for her are what projects are securities so that venues, investors, and the funds that hold those assets are able to understand which projects are and aren't securities. Shens. You can read full post on crypto funds. News, link available in text below.